So, you heard about or saw someone use the Algebra Solver on the TI-84 and now you want to try it. While, yes, it's true this does solve algebra problems, it has some limitations and quirks you need to know about. Okay, let's take a look at where it is on your calculator and how to use it. It's found under the math key and then it's somewhat hidden at the very bottom of the list. It's option C and it's called the numeric solver and yes it can solve algebra questions. So let's try an easy one to start with. 5x plus 3 is equal to 23. This is what teachers call a two-step algebra equation because when you work it it takes two operations to solve subtracting the 3 and dividing both sides by 5. The equation solver presents you with two boxes and each side of this equation will go in a box it doesn't matter which side goes where. So in one box let's put 5x plus 3 and the x is entered using the key marked with x, t, theta, and n and the 23 is entered into the other box. Once both are entered press the key underneath the OK it's the graph key and then you'll see this screen it shows the equation as you might see it in a textbook or a worksheet and below is where you will see the answer. Now the number you see for x isn't computed yet and this is the last value that the calculator had in its memory for x. Pressing the key underneath solve will put the calculator to work and it should display a number and here we have 4. Now, lots of times teachers will want you to show your work and obviously this doesn't show any steps because it uses a different method that happens to be lightning quick inside its circuits. Which brings us to an important part of this video, so please keep watching. As stated at the beginning of this video, this doesn't solve all your algebra problems. There are some important limitations you need to know so you don't get sad when you discover the calculator doesn't play nice with some math problems. Limitation number one, asking it to solve an equation with no solution. Let's look at the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 1. Yikes, what will this do? When we ask it to solve this, it does some computing for a second or two, and then we get this error message, no sign change. That's the calculator's way of saying it looked all over the number line to find something and came up empty-handed, and rightly so, this is a no-solution equation. Limitation number two, quadratics. One of the first things eager students try is to solve those darn quadratic equations with the numeric solver. Ugh, it sucks for this. I'm sorry, but it does. Let me show you. Let's take x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Spoiler alert, I'm showing you the solutions here and now so you can see what happens. Hey good, negative 1 is one of the two answers. The other one is negative 5. So where is the other answer? That's my point. A quadratic equation could have up to two correct answers and if it does, you'll never know. Which is why I'm going to shamelessly plug a cool program you can install on your calculator called Quad Theta, and it will give you both answers and can do it in exact form instead of wackadoodle decimal form. Limitation number three, complex numbers. If you don't know what imaginary numbers are, you can skip this. The T84 still doesn't do a good job at working with the imaginary number i. If you have the mode set on your calculator to handle complex numbers, i squared is negative 1, and if you add 3 to that, you get 2. Makes sense, right? Negative 1 plus 3 is equal to 2. Well, if you try to make an equation using i, like i squared plus x equals 2, then ask to solve it, you will see how the calculator really fumbles on this bad guess sounds like it's blaming you, but really, let's blame someone at Texas Instruments. So one final thought on the quirkiness. Sometimes you might get an error that looks like this, and this is what we call round-off error. It's a product of the process and the circuits of the calculator that is unfortunately making it not look like a uh, an integer. So you can just either round up or round down from an answer like this if this is something that you get on your calculator. So there you go. 
That's your quick guide to the numeric solver. I've made a PDF doc you can download from my website if that's how you prefer to absorb information. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful and made sense and maybe helped you avoid pain and suffering, signal your feelings by clicking that thumbs up button below.